goes. The animal is seed within. Let your mind realize that it is not the master. Then there would be no need for any effort. Every effort is just to deceive yourself. You are not the cat and you are fighting with the mouse. Become a master. But how to become a master? Tantra says, understanding will make you a master, nothing else. Understanding is the secret of all mastery. If you know it well, you are the master. If you do not know, you will go on fighting, then you will remain the slave. And the more you fight, the more you will be defeated. You are fighting with a mouse, a losing battle. <clears throat> Never you think yourself to be a saint. Never think yourself holier than you are. You think yourself to be a religious person. Not only that. You think yourself to be this and that. If you face your reality, all these illusions will evaporate. Everyone has created a false image of himself. And then we cling to the image and this clinging becomes the barrier towards moving within. So the first thing is to accept the animal it is there and nothing is wrong about it. It is your past that you cannot deny. You can only use it. If you are wise, you will use it and create a better future out of it. If you are foolish, you will fight with it and through the fight, the future will be destroyed. Fight with a seed and you will destroy it. Use it, give it a proper soil, help it, protect it, so that the seed becomes a tree, an alive tree, and the future blossoms through it. The animal is your seed, do not fight with it. Tantra says has no condemnation against it. Simply love it because the whole future is hidden in it. Keep it well and then you can use it and you can thank it afterwards. I have heard something beautiful about Saint Francis. When he was just on the deathbed, suddenly op he opened his eyes and thanked his body before going to his death. Before moving to the other world, he thanked the body. He said, much was hidden in you and you helped me so much. And I was so ignorant and there were times when I even fought with you. There were times when I even thought about you in inimical terms, but you were always a friend and it is because of you I can move to such a state of consciousness. This thanksgiving to the body is beautiful, but St. Francis could understand it only in the end. Tantra says, try to understand it in the beginning. If you only thank your body when you are dying, it will be of no use. Your body is a treasure house of hidden forces and myriad mystery, mysterious possibilities. Tantra says that in your body is the whole cosmos in miniature. It is just a miniature of the whole cosmos. Do not fight with it. What is your sex if body is a miniature? If really it is so that your body is the whole cosmos in miniature, what is sex? 
that which is creation in the cosmos is sex in you that which is creation in the cosmos is sex in you throughout the whole cosmos creation is going on every moment this cosmic way of creation is sex in you and there is so much force in it it is because you are needed to be a creator if sex is so powerful it only means for tantra that you cannot be allowed to be non creative you must create if you cannot create something greater then at least create life if you cannot create anything better than you then at least create someone who will replace you when you die sex is so powerful because the cosmos cannot allow you to be non creative and you are fighting with it learn to use it creatively there is no need to use sex only in reproduction in every creation sex is used that is why a great poet a great painter may not feel so much of a of an urge for sex but the reason is not that he is a saint the reason is simply that he is creating something greater and the need is fulfilled a great musician is creating music no father can feel so much fulfilled as a musician feels when great music is created and no son can give so much happiness to any parent as a great piece of music can give to the musician or a great poetry can give to the poet or a piece of classic can give to the writer because he is creating on higher realms nature relieves him of the lower creation and the energy has moved higher tantra says do not fight with the energy allow the energy to move higher and there are many realms of higher movement and many dimensions buddha is neither a painter nor a musician nor a poet he has gone beyond sex what has happened to him the highest creation is the creation of himself the highest creation is the creation of total consciousness within creation of a whole within oneness that is the peak the himalayan peak buddha is at that peak he has created himself when you move in sex you create your body and the replica is created when you move higher you create a spirit you create soul or if you allow if you will allow me the expression you create god you have heard that god created the world but i say to you that you have the potentiality to create god and unless you create him you will never be fulfilled so do not think that god is in the beginning rather it will be better to think that god is the end the omega god is not the cause of the world but the tell you but the very end god is not the cause of the world but the very end the very peak if you flower in your totality you will become a god that is why we call buddha a god and buddha never believed in god this is very paradoxical he never believed in god 
he is one of the deepest atheist atheistic mind ever born he says there is no god but we called buddha himself a divine h g wells has written that gautam buddha was the most godless man and most god like what happened to this gautam he created he gave birth to the highest peak the highest possibility the ultimate has happened in him after creating himself he was no longer creating anything there was no need it would have been futile for buddha to write poetry it would have been futile for him to paint it would have been childish he created the ultimate he gave himself a new birth and because it is the ultimate phenomenon the whole past has been used the past disappeared and the animal was no more because when the tree is born the seed disappears remember this the moment seed is the tree is tree appears seed disappears seed dissolves the moment love blossoms in you sex disappears sex is the seed love is the flowering of that and compassion is the ultimate flowering jesus says unless a seed of corn falls to the ground and dies nothing can happen once the seed falls to the ground and dies the new life bubbles up through it the death is only the death of the seed seed means the past but there can be no death without giving birth to the new something new will come out of it tantra says do not control who are you to control and how will you be able to control your control will be just illusory try to understand try to understand the inner nature the phenomena the dynamics of the energies the dynamics of the energies and that understanding will automatically change you change is not an effort if change is an effort then it can not create bliss bliss never happens through any effort effort always creates tensions it gives anguish effort is ugly because you are forcing something understanding is an effort it is beautiful it is a spontaneous happening do not control if you try you will be a failure and you will destroy yourself let understanding be the only law the spiritual practice leave everything to understanding if understanding cannot do anything that it cannot be done so forget it all that can be done can be done through understanding remember acceptance leads to understanding you cannot understand anything if you deny if i hate you i cannot look into your eyes i cannot see your face i will turn about i will escape you escape from you i will not look at you directly when i love you only then i can look into your eyes when i love you deeply only then i can see your face oh, when i love you only deeply when i love you deeply only then i can see your face enough for now